January 2019 marked the first month since 2013 that I was not in debt. That's six years of living with maxed overdraft accounts on two current accounts and two max credit cards. My life was a mess. In this video, I'll walk you through how I got into debt and the five steps I used to help me get out of it. In this video, you will learn how I got myself out of £14,000 of debt with interest. And if you are in debt, how you can get yourself out of it too. I'll share the tools and techniques I use to clear my debt in around 9 to 10 months. If you have any questions about my journey or you want help in your journey, drop your questions in the comments below. And also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips just like this. My story. I didn't get into debt for the same reasons the internet makes you feel like everyone else does. Spending money on things to impress people? No. That wasn't the case for me. I just had very poor financial accountability and bad spending habits. I was living beyond my means, did not have a job, did not have a budget, ran away from bank statements, basically kept my head dug in a hole when a new month started. It was really depressing to spend so much time living in debt. You feel ashamed and embarrassed to talk about it, where people make fun of me for being so broke. You put up a front that you're doing okay, as to not be excluded from social events and hanging out with friends, further pushing you to keep dipping into your debt taking out new credit cards and watching as with each new month comes, your debt swallows whatever amount of income you made that month. Basically, every day feels like you're drowning and it seems like there's no way out. The worst thing about all was that I kept quiet about what I was going through, which is one of the biggest mistakes you can make when you have so much debt. It wasn't until I gradually started speaking about it with friends and family that I understood this wasn't a problem that was just exclusive to me. Many, many other people faced it too. I wasn't alone. You are not alone. When you start to speak about your debt, you'll find that you're not the only one that's going through it. Being quiet about your debt is a very common thing and shield you from the fact that many others in the same position as you or even higher have debt too. And it's okay to speak about it. Once you remove the shame from your debt, you can begin to have a healthier relationship with how you deal with it. That was the first step for me and I'm so grateful that I was able to do that because now I'm no longer in debt. It even helped me map out a timeline of how long it will take me to clear my debt and I was surprised by just how little time it will take me to do that. If you have any questions about my journey or ways I could help yours, drop your questions in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, hit the like button. So here's how I cleared my £14,000 worth of debt with interest. Number one, understand how much debt you're in. The first step to changing anything is understanding. If you don't know the situation you're in, how can you begin to work to change it? So the first thing you have to do to clear your debt is knowing exactly how much debt you're in. It's hard, I know, but you have to do it. Face your bank statements, log into your online banking and check how much debt you're in. No longer can you run and hide away from this if you really want to clear out your debt. Once you know how much debt you're in, just keep a record of it. Don't use pen and paper or your mind unless your brain can hold lots of information with perfect recollection. Use a spreadsheet tool like Google Docs. If you want to head start on that, you can use the spreadsheet I use to help clear my £14,000 in debt in the description below for a one-time fee of £2.99, a small price to pay to be on your way to clearing your debts. Number two, understand which of your credit accounts has the most interest. Now that you know how much debt you're in, you really need to understand which of those debts cost you the most to have each month. Having debt means that it's most likely it has interest on it that you have to pay back also. Knowing which debt charges you the most interest allows you to focus your efforts on clearing out that debt faster. This means you will reduce the amount of interest money you have to pay back each month on top of what you're already paying towards clearing out your debt. If I have three credit lines, a credit card, an overdraft and a store card, I make sure I'm clearing the highest earning interest credit line by at least two thirds and then half the last third to clear out the other two credit lines. For example, if I have £200 left over at the end of each month and I have three credit lines with £500 usage, an overdraft with 1% interest, a store card with 5% interest and a credit card with 10% interest, I would focus on clearing out the credit card by at least £133 each month. That's two thirds of £200 because over time that will add the most interest on top of the money I already have to clear off. So let's see what that means for my credit lines right now. My overdraft interest per month would be £5 and a total of £505. My store card interest per month would be £25 and a total of £525. And my credit card interest per month would be £50 and a total of £550. You can clearly see the credit card will charge me the most. The other two credit lines I just cleared by 33, 33 each because I'll be left with 66, 66 and I just divide that by two. Let me know in the comments below if you want to go more in depth on that on another video. Number three, don't bother saving while you're in debt. 
you should turn this into one of your pet peeves. Saving while you're in debt is a fool's game. Think of your debt as an airport one way and you're on a plane that takes you off to debt freedom. Each time you save money while you're in debt that gains interest, you are extending the runway for your plane to take off to debt freedom. Here's why. Your debt gains interest each month. Saving some of your money means that there's less money left over to clear off your debt that gains interest each month. Interest that eats away at your savings, by the way. If your total amount of savings plus interest is gaining you more money each month than the amount of total debt plus interest on that debt, then you can save because your savings is gaining more money than your debt with interest takes away from it. Otherwise, you clear your debt out first. It's that simple, guys. It's a bit confusing, I know. That's where you clear your debt first. Makes life easier and allows you to save faster. Number four, know how much you cost a month. This is probably the most crucial part of clearing your debt because it will either make or break your plans. Knowing how much you cost will allow you to know if you're earning enough money to actually pay for your living expenses and clear your debt at the same time. It really makes it that clear for you. If your bills and expenses go past the amount of money you earn each month, you will continue to grow into debt unless you either reduce your expenses if you can or grow your income. Those are the only two ways to save more money. This will help you with understanding just how long it will take you to clear your debt and it can be surprising by just how short that can be. After I laid out all my costs, debts, and how much money I was making, it gave me peace of mind to put a time frame on just how long it would take me to be debt free. I was surprised that it would only take me about nine to 10 months if I was strict with my plan. When you're in debt, you feel like it will take you forever to get over that mountain of debt. So you continue to avoid it and accept your bleak circumstances. But if you build up the courage and understand how you can clear that debt, you may be surprised by just how small of a mountain it may be to climb. So how do you figure out how much you cost? It's very simple actually. All you have to do is find your fixed and variable costs each month. Fixed costs are the things you pay for each month that never change like your phone bill or rent. They're always the same price most times of the year and sometimes they change, but rarely they do. Variable costs are the things you pay for that fluctuate from month to month. This can be things like buying from Uber Eats or your public transport fare. They're a bit trickier to place an exact figure on, so it's best to work on averages. How much did I spend on food for the last few months, for example? Apps like Monzo and Money Dashboard make it very easy for you to pull these figures out by tagging your transactions and you can use a budget template I use to clear my debt to help you lay these figures out in a spreadsheet. All the tools and apps I've said here will be linked in the description below. The final and fifth step is number five, set up a budgeting plan. This is the best thing you can do for yourself when you're in debt. It's not only great for hard times, but it's a perfect skill to have in life. Being able to budget your money allows for greater control of your finances and peace of mind. It helps you know your money like the back of your hand and make decisions with great confidence. I didn't know this at the time when I was in debt, but putting myself on a budgeting plan helped me develop sound financial habits that have helped me maximize the potential of my money to this day. Setting aside money for specific areas of your life means you only spend what you need. It also makes things clearer to have a different account for different types of spending. I have a bank account that's purely for paying my bills and I make sure there's a direct debit set up that transfers exactly what is needed to clear my bills each month. And another account for just my day-to-day -day spending, which might be something like 300 pounds for the month. So when I go over that amount, there's nothing left to spend. Timbles. Having separate accounts makes it easier for you to track where the money is going. Having all your transactions coming out of one account gets a bit messy after a while. Though banks like Monzo allow you to create pots that section off your money. Pots are like mini bank accounts within one main bank account. Now, none of this works if you don't stick to your plan. If you want to clear out your debt, then be vigilant with your finances. Got too much money going out, then cut off the costs you don't need. You can clear your debt, you just have to be organized about it. So yeah, thanks guys for checking out my video. Once you clear your debt, it opens up limitless possibilities for you. And if you want to stay debt free, I've created a video that has my top three tips for staying debt free, which you can watch right here.